It's been a long, cold night. I've been out here. No, I'm just kidding. Um, my last video, I uh, showed you guys I locked myself out of my porch. Out of my porch. Um, but I did not spend the night out here um, in the freezing Indiana weather. Um, my wife finally came and got me, so uh, that's good news. But um, I'm back out here at it again. Um, got a uh, Nub Connecticut. Um, this was my uh, second attempt at making this video. As uh, my last one, I uh, just started it up and actually dropped the cigar and got ash all over myself. Anyways, happens to the best of us, right? Um, so, this cigar, um, Numb Connecticut, I believe this is the 4x60 ring gauge. Um, and I know I was bitching on 60 ring gauges last night, but for whatever reason, I just felt like having a nub. Um, this was one of my favorite cigars, the Nub Connecticut, when I first started smoking cigars years ago. Um, and it'll always have a special place in my heart. But um, anyways, when I lit it up, I'm only, you know, maybe five minutes in here. Um, the ash is kind of all jacked up because I dropped it on the floor. Um, and I cracked the wrapper a little bit, but what are you going to do? Um, anyways, it, it uh, started out with... Uh, an enormous, enormous amount of cinnamon flavor. Like, I've, I've never had that happen with one of these cigars. They've always been, you know, very mild and creamy and just, honestly, kind of one-dimensional um, in the past. I haven't had one in a long time, though, so this is kind of a new experience, I guess. I'll get to taste it while uh, my uh, palate has been developed for quite some time since the last one. But regardless, um, it's been a good smoke in the past. Um, a lot of cinnamon. Um, flavors on the draw are um, kind of weak, mild, not a whole lot of anything. A, a lot of it's sticking on the finish, which actually lasts for a long time. Um, A little bit of a kind of like a, a woody flavor. The cinnamon kind of toned down a bit, but um, I don't know. I'll uh, update you guys here in a bit. Hey guys, um, back here at you with uh, oh I don't know, 20, 25 minutes in, um, about a inch, inch and a half through this uh, nub, Connecticut. Um, it's uh, surprisingly giving me tons of like black pepper flavor I honestly have never had this with one of these cigars before um usually they're really mellow and creamy and I don't know I mean there's a little bit of a especially through the nose there's a lot of I'm um, getting a lot of like wood flavors but the straight onto the tongue is just tons of black pepper I, I don't know where it's coming from because the strange thing is this has been sitting in my humidor for years and I would have thought it would have mellowed out quite a bit more than uh, it originally was, but uh, anyways, um, burns pretty good, um, nothing to complain about, these big fat cigars sometimes have issues, but um, nothing bad on this, the ash will probably hang on for a little while, um, if you don't drop them, um, it can sometimes hang on all the way through to the end, but uh, since I dropped this on the floor, I don't have uh, high hopes with this, this uh, current ash that's going. Um, I uh, wanted to elaborate a little bit more on uh, last night I had shown you guys the uh, the custom sign my wife had made me for this porch uh, that says Stoke O'Clock. Um, the term Stoke, if you can't figure it out, is short for Stogie. Um, so, you know, I kind of tell people, hey, you want to have a Stoke? You know, just a little short way to say it, my own little thing. Um, so, it's Stoke O'Clock right now. So, anyways. Um, so far, this... Uh, Cigar is really good. Um, the pepper's just kicked up a lot. I don't know where this is coming from. It's crazy. Um, but I'm kind of hoping I get a few more of the uh, creamy flavors and buttery flavors I've had in the past with these things. But we'll see. Um, I'll check in with you guys here in a little bit. Hey, guys. Um, back here about the uh, halfway point with the Nub Connecticut. Um, it's uh, burning great. Um, draws perfect. You can't really go wrong on a draw with a six by or a, sorry four by 60 60 ring gauge cigars I mean um, if you screw that up you got problems um, I guess the only issue I ever usually have with some of these fatter ones is that they're too loose um, I mean nobody likes a tight draw but you know you want a little bit of resistance um, getting tons of smoke output on this um, right after the last clip actually 
Um, it did transition to a, I, got, I picked up a lot of creaminess, um, which is what I was kind of looking for. Um, and a ton of like nutmeg. It was almost like you take some heavy cream and just throw tons of nutmeg in there. Um, and then, flavors through the nose uh, on the retrohale. Um, I'm getting like a really like weak coffee as well as um, a little bit of like smokiness, kind of like a bonfire. It's interesting, but um, it's a nice little transition. Um, didn't really expect the complexity so far out of this thing. Um, there's still a lingering um, black pepper on the tongue um, that sticks around for a while in the finish. Um, it's just kind of throwing me off still, but uh, overall it's it's been it's been a good cigar and. Uh, the, the body is, it's still just mild to medium body. It's just some of these flavors are not the typical flavors that I've found in, you know, milder cigars. So, hey, whatever. I'll take it. So, I'll check back in here with you guys uh, when I'm getting closer to finishing up. Hey, guys. Um, back here with the Nub Connecticut. Um, about 50 minutes in or so. Um, Going to be ending it here soon. It's getting uh, kind of hot and... Um, it's freezing out here, so I'm going to be exiting soon. But hey, there was a, quite a big transition. Um, on the uh, on the draw, I'm getting this, what I can only describe as um, the smell of antique furniture, what that would taste like, um, as well as um, a little bit of raisin, which is nice. I, I love raisin flavor in cigars. Um, I think a lot of uh, milder cigars smell like raisins pretty light, um, and I just love when I pick that flavor out. Um, through the nose, um, I'm getting a lot of earth, um, kind of like eating grass and dirt, to be honest with you, um, but it's not bad, it's, it's, it's good, um, and then, uh, through the finish, there's still that pepper, which is just totally surprising me, but, um, anyways, it's been, uh, it's been nice, um, this, this cigar completely threw me off. I did not expect the complexity that this gave me. I don't know if somehow the aging on this... I I don't know. I, that doesn't usually happen. You don't usually have a, a bomb of more flavor when you age a cigar that long. But hey, whatever. I'm not going to complain. It's been, uh, it's been fantastic. Um, so anyways, this has been the Nub Connecticut, uh, the 4x60, I believe. Um, if you guys like the video, hit uh, that like button and subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you next time. And remember, it's always Stoke O'Clock.